Welcome back to the Valentino TV YouTube channel. I am Noodle Yes. And I am Shelly Snails, known as Shelly. Today we're going to go over a sculpted coffin. coffin. She just threw just on a, a, a just did square. We got a square on me, and now we're going to explore into the next realm of shapes. So this is all new. All there right, let's get into it. There you go. Let's go. We're making magic over here. Yes, we are. We're making progress. Mm -hmm. Progress is, is good. <laughs> any, any progress is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you saw in my other previous videos, of how to apply the nail form. This is the same way we're gonna apply it. Apply my sticker there to um, have more sturdiness on my form. I'm gonna cut my form right here. That way I have more movement for my form on how to place it. Shape it out here a little bit to her natural curve. Now we have the same situation. We have a gap here that we need to fix. We need to make sure that our form goes all the way in, basically covering the lateral folds on her thighs. So we're gonna adjust our form here real quick. Okay. And I'm gonna cut it. I'm basically doing a little puzzle cut just to fit in your natural nail. Ah, where'd you go? Let's see, let's see if it fits now. And boom, it went all the way in. Now you could have the option of pre-pinching it before or after. Now your form has to be straight. I'm just gonna make sure I have it nice and straight. Let me look at it sideways for a minute. And I also have to make sure that all the flaps are aligned. Keep that beautiful structure. All my flaps will be aligned. If they're not aligned, your uh, structure will be lopsided. Mm. So there you guys see the side angle. Everything is aligned and it's nice and straight. And now we're going to go straight ahead into forming our coffin shape here. But I'd like to remove here a little bit of this piece of the form. I'm gonna cut into a 45 degree angle. I'm basically gonna let that skin come out. So we're using again our prettiest pink, our Valentino prettiest pink. My favorite. Leah's favorite. Mm. I do have to say it's my favorite too. I, it, it's, it's just so good. And now I'll be placing my first bead in the stress point, which is the free edge for me. Grabbing your bead, make sure it's not too wet, not too dry. Yummy. That bead is not moving anywhere. Make sure you fade the beads between each other. Now, how do I shape a coffin shape on a form? You have to make sure that all shapes are formed after the free edge, okay? Hmm. Okay, so now we're going with the bead that's gonna be close to the cuticle area. Okay. Now I'm applying the bead right here, close enough, but not, and I'm gonna push with the tip of my brush, kind of let it seep in that cuticle area without touching the cuticle, without overlapping. If the acrylic touches any fatty tissue, it's going to lift. Mm. Now I'm gonna reinforce here, which is my free edge, my stress point, and making sure you fade in your beads because you don't want no marbling. Now, if there's, there's any area that needs more acrylic, I can see it right now. We need a little bit more acrylic mm -hmm, on this mm -hmm. edge right here. These, if you see it, don't leave it. Fix it, fix it before you, you're done. Make sure you clean the form, that way you don't have much to file. When we remove it, there's not much that needs to be filed. Add a small bead and fade in your beads. That will prevent so much of the marbling. Also, not working what? Wet on wet. Mm. I don't know that I've ever heard that you shouldn't do that. Like, you know? It's like, you, need, you just need to give it enough time, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That it's dry enough, but still in that molding stage. So again, so wet on wet would cause... The shadowing, like that shadowing in marble. Yeah. You're gonna see those lines. You're, oh. you're gonna see, and once you start filing, they're gonna come through. Yes, I've had that happen to me, oh, goodness. Okay, so here it is, this is done. Now we're just gonna wait like 10 minutes, okay. and then we're gonna file it. And we'll be right back. And we'll be right back. Okay. okay, 
So we hear the tapping noise, yes, right? Yes, the sound of it's done. It's ready, it's ready. Boom, Ooh. popped off. Look how beautiful that secret looks. Honestly, wow. And the wow. shape already, it's already there. You barely have to file. Now I have my Valentino e-file on a 12. Again, this is just me. Mm -hmm. You guys can have it probably on a 10 or an eight. And I'm basically just gonna remove a little excess, not, not too much because it's beautiful already. Now I'm gonna go ahead, cuticle oil and my cone bit. And I have it at a 12 speed with my Valentino e-file. And again, if you don't have this one, it's okay. You can use whatever you have, but I highly recommend this one because it goes into all the little crevices because it has a nice pointy mm -hmm. I love shape that bit. to it. Mm -hmm. And once you learn how to use it, you're like, it's your best friend forever. Yeah. So again, look at that cuticle area, nice and flush. And again, there's not a big lump here. You see it? It's supposed to all flush and be even, basically. So would you say that there's still an apex in the nail? Yes, there still is an apex in the nail. Mm -hmm. It's just the apex is not supposed to be here. Like we don't need no mountain? No. Okay. Remember what I said, you're gonna damage the matrix of your nail. Right. Cause permanent damages because it's so thick, it's too much weight on that area. Okay, so now we're about done with this bit and I'm gonna go in with my hand file. And then again, we already have most of our coffin shape already done because of the way we place our acrylic. And remember what I said, where does the shape start coming out of? Edge. At the free edge. I Therefore, Therefore, that means I'm not gonna file here, my uh -huh. sidewalls. Well, like I'm gonna file. Okay. But I'm not gonna start trying to make my shape here. A lot of people do that. I do. Okay, so you, you can't damage your sidewalls. You go in too deep and you might file the natural nail and that's... There's so much to learn about nails, oh my God. Yeah, there, there is a lot to yeah. learn, honestly, we try to give you guys our best here in the video, but there's so much more to this. Yeah, so I highly much suggest more. doing a continued education class. Absolutely, I agree. Mm -hmm. And we have this all on the same level. Oh, it's so pretty. I still, I'm looking at my hand and I'm like, who is that? But I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks good. Yeah, I, I'm like, I kind of want to do like a long, coffin set now. Like. Mm, I think it would look really good on you. Just, you guys want to see that? I bet they do. Yeah, I bet, I, I, I know they do. <laughs> I bet they do. Right? Okay, let's see. Ooh, let's make sure wow. it's nice and straight. It looks nice and straight. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more to file on this side. If you see that you need to file on one side more than the other, that's where you're gonna file. Mm. Okay, make sure you look at your nail from all angles. Mm -hmm. And we have that beautiful cylinder shape at the top of your nail and inside too. Ooh, that last stroke was so yummy. I saw it just all come together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, it did it. It was like just right perfectly. Okay. You saw the, the marks. And there we have it. Now we're going to buff. Smoothen this out. Now I can see, remember what I said, if we see those little lines, just mm -hmm. use the rougher side of the buffer. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna erase with the smoother side of my buffer. And now we're gonna clean it out and apply our top coat. Yay. And there we have a coffin shape. Beautiful. Wow, that's so cute. 
It feels so dainty. It does. Mm-hmm. It looks, it looks so pretty. Mm-hmm. Make sure you pay attention to the little details. Pictures won't lie. Mm-hmm. They'll show everything. Gonna get it nice and glossy. Nice and glossy. Although I do have to say matte is my favorite. Is it? Yes. Oh. I love matte for everything. I don't feel like I do enough matte. I like, love matte. I wanna I wanna change that up. I'm so I just love like a nice glossy finished look. It's just so gratifying for me. I see you like a lot of iridescence too. Yes. Yeah. Me, I'm the opposite when it comes to that. Yeah. <laughs> I love matte. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, here it is. Beautiful, uh, wow. Well, thank you so much guys for tuning in with our sculpted coffin nail. Don't forget to